Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm showcasing the card kit of the month by Spellbinders. If you are not familiar with their card kits, make sure to check them out, they have beautiful card kits and they are great value for money, you will see that it is packed with products. So here I'm doing the unboxing in front of the camera, I haven't opened it yet, and we will see together what's included. The kit the kit's value is by the way $35 and you will see that you get a ton. Now let's start first with the envelopes and uh, the cards. These are pre-folded 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half standard cards with 10 envelopes, all in white. You will also get this leaflet that lets you know all the contents of your kit and at the back you will see some inspiration. But you have to go to their website, you will see lots of inspiration there as well for this kit. And let's start with the dies, there is a little bag here which is packed with dies, there are 10 included. You will find here everything you need to create a ballerina's costume as well as the hanger. You will also get three dies that cut out uh, sentiments as well as a belt and a little uh, star. And I will be using those dies to create my first card. They included adhesive on this kit so you get um, double sided tape as well as foam squares and um, you don't really need to use only the inside, make sure to use up the whole thing, even the outside. There is a little bag with silver sequins, lovely and sparkly in different sizes. And this is the stamp set, I'm going to take it out of the package so you can see it better, it comes packed with sentiments, as well as a ballerina and three tutus, and you can pick each one of them to dress up your ballerina and get different looks. This is a bag of uh, die cut shapes, again in the same theme and in beautiful colors, you will see that everything matches obviously in this card kit. There are tons of uh, those uh, little uh, die cuts, you can use them on your cards or even if you scrapbook and um, there are even not only lovely focal points but also uh, many strips of um, sentiments that you can use on top of your cards and you can see this beautiful swan, there, are, uh, there is a little bicycle which I absolutely loved and I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but most of those uh, die cuts have silver foiling on uh, different areas of them, which is a lovely touch. Here is another bag, this is the bag with the tags, you get big cards that you can use as backgrounds on your card bases, and also little tags that you can use either on your gifts or just dress them up and make them elements, focal points on your cards. So you can see these are double sided. And here are the little tags. Again, most of them have some foiling on top, like this one. Next you will get these uh, foam stickers, again in designs and colors that match the theme of the card kit. These are really thick and dimensional and they make great focal points on your card. I am going to use some of them on my cards and you will see them in action. But that's not all, you also get a 6x6 paper pad in lovely colors that match the whole theme. There are 12 different designs included and you get 3 pages from each design. So 36 uh, pages altogether and again you can see that they have lovely foiling. They are not double sided as you can see so you don't have to fight with yourself on which one of the sides you have to use. Finally you get uh, cardstock in 7 colors that match perfectly the rest of uh, the card kit theme. One of them is silver which is great for adding sparkling accents here and there and I will be using that a lot. So you get all this stuff for only $35. If you want to check it out you will find a link down below just like always. And now let's move on and make some cards. For my first card I'm going to use the dies to create a ballerina costume and um, I'm going to cut out uh, bits and pieces using cardstock from the kit. I cut out the tutu out of vellum and the die also adds those uh, scoring lines that you can fold to make it puffier. For now I'm going to leave it as it is and you can see that the die cuts out two shapes of um, stars, the outline as well as the inside. Now I'm going to add a little bit of color at the back of my vellum so I'm just going to tint it pink. For that I'm using alcohol marker that matches with the pale color of the rest of my costume. 
Now I'm going to do some folding. I'm using my bone folder to reinforce all those crease lines. Of course you can create your pleats any way you like, like left or right, it doesn't really matter. And my skirt is ready. Now I'm going to use this beautiful pattern paper and I'm going to use two dies nested one inside the other to create a frame. I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine and I have a frame for my card. I'm going to stick that frame with foam tape at the back on top of uh, one of the pre-folded cards that come in the kit. And I have a lovely dimensional frame on my card. Now I'm going to put together my ballerina costume and this is uh, obviously the focal point of my card. I'm using the tape adhesive that was included in the kit. Now I'm going to wrap around the little belt which I have cut out of uh, the silver cardstock. And I'm going to stick it down with some foam tape at the back. I also used some glue to secure the hanger at the top of the costume. And with the silver stars that I have cut out, I'm going to embellish my card by sticking them here and there. And there are little details that bring the whole card together, such as the silver foiling on the frame on the pattern paper, the silver belt and the hanger, as well as all those stars. And since there are some sequins included that are also silver, I just had to add a few of those. For my sentiment I went with a simple love that was included in the die cut shapes and that is attached with foam squares at the back. So this is the finished card, nice and shiny and here are some close up photos. Now the second card is super easy to create. I have cut out this uh, thin strip of uh, pattern paper which is included in the paper pad. I'm going to stick that down at one of the card bases. I'm going to use my scissors to chop off the excess and then I will create a um, flower arrangement at the top but I want to have a touch of uh, silver again so I'm going to cut out a very thin strip of that uh, cardstock so that I can attach it where those two papers meet. I'm using the green lines on my mat just to make sure that this is completely straight. I'm going to use my scissors to chop off the excess. So from the die cut pack I picked up some flowers and some leaves. I'm going to stick them down and create my flower arrangement. I'm using foam squares at the back just because I love dimension. For the sentiment again I'm going with uh, this lovely banner. Again this is uh, one of the pieces from the cutouts included in the kit. And I have added a foam tape at the back for the dimension that I always like. I'm also going to add a few bits and pieces here and there and my card is ready. A really quick and simple and with those die cuts you can pull together a card in no time. Let's move on to the third card which is again very quick and simple to make. I have uh, used this pattern paper to cut out a panel. I'm sticking it directly on top of my card base and I'm going to use the butterfly with foam squares at the back as the focal point. For the sentiment I'm going with uh, the one that says you are magical. This is the foam sticker, nice and thick and the card is ready. And once I started I couldn't stop so I'm going to share a fourth card for today. Here I'm combining two pattern papers making sure that I have those uh, white and black stripes on each end. For my focal point I'm going with that foam sticker cake. Nice and thick again it's not that puffy sticker that you are used to. And uh, for the sentiment I'm going with that silver happy. Nice and big I'm going to uh, stick it down on an angle so that it's not so boring as a design but at the same time I make sure that it fits nicely inside the card. Now I have also uh, stamped and embossed with white on black cardstock the word birthday which I'm going to stick it down and complete my sentiment. Here are some close up photos on the last card and let's take a quick look on all the four cards that I made for today. It's a really fun card kit to play with, I absolutely recommend it and I think it is a great value for money. And these were the projects for today, I hope you had fun and you got inspired. You will find links on everything I used down below in the description area. 
Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you all so much for watching today and I'll see you all next time.